Christine Baumgartner, Kevin Costner's ex, testified that the man she was spotted in Hawaii with last month is not her boyfriend. The 68-year-old Yellowstone actor and 49-year-old Baumgartner were both present at a divorce hearing on Thursday in Santa Barbara, where the actor's estranged wife gave emotional testimony. Christine spoke about her July trip to Hawaii, when she was pictured with Costner's old banking friend Josh Connor, a wealthy investor who lives close to the celebrity's estate in Carpentaria, California, during her time on the stand. Christine said that, despite Josh giving her $20,000, the two are not romantically involved, and that, while in Hawaii, she shared a room with a female best friend. Prior to this, Costner claimed that Christine was lying about her financial status, noting that her boyfriend recently gave her $20,000 in the process. Connor, whom Baumgartner characterized as a family friend, chatted to an irate Baumgartner about her two recent trips to Hawaii, which she had taken in March and July. Longtime Costner friend Connor, who resides in Santa Barbara, recently got divorced from his wife Patricia. Costner claimed in court documents that his estranged wife had a love relationship with him, but when Baumgartner's attorney directly asked her if he was her boyfriend, she strongly denied it. Additionally, she was inquired about $2,000. Connor handed her $10,000 and testified in court that her mother received it because she was worried about her house. She sobbed as she acknowledged that Costner had been paying her mother $5,000 per month for years, but the payments had ceased after their divorce. Since then, according to Baumgartner, she has routine the additional $10,000 to Connor because I don't need it right now. Christine and Josh were photographed last month taking a romantic stroll along the coast and spending some time together on the beach. Both Christine and Connor were beaming from ear to ear and appeared to be having a terrific time. Exclusively provided to Daily Mail. Calm by a bystander. She sat with the guy at a corner table. He had a good look. She was laughing a lot at what he was saying when they first sat down across from one another at the table. He sat down next to her so they were both facing the river as she showed him pictures on her phone. It's difficult to say if there was any interaction between them, but I did notice that he once placed his hand on her leg. The only contact that was genuinely physical was that. The man's suite is just next to hers. They left together just before dusk after he charged the beverages to his room. According to sources familiar with the drama surrounding Kevin and Christine's divorce, she and Josh have recently become especially close. One insider, though, asserted that the two have absolutely no romantic relationship. They have been close friends for a long time, the person continued, as Baumgartner described the couple's extravagant $11 million per year lifestyle which includes a $175 million beachfront home and a 160,000-acre ranch in Aspen. She started to cry on the witness stand. It was earlier in the day that Costner was quoted as saying that his ex-wife had waged a relentless jihad against him because she has grown so unreasonable during their divorce proceedings. Caden, 16, Hayes, 14, and Grace, 13 are the children of the couple who divorced on May 1. The actor claims in new court records that he has paid more than $1 million in child support since the breakup. Christine, who gave her name as Kastner when she appeared in court, moved out of the couple's seaside home last month and into a nearby $40,000 per month rental home. She claims that although being opulent, the new house does not offer her children a comparable lifestyle and is therefore asking for additional funds to purchase a home that is more than a home. It's an experience similar to the marital property. The Dancers with Wolves actor listed his monthly living expenditures at $240,000 during his deposition two weeks ago, but he wants to pay his ex no more than $60,000 each month. When Costner's defense team continually cited elements of her new home that were present in the marital residence during cross-examination, the mother of three became angry. They are attempting to demonstrate that the assets are comparable 
and that she is not in need of the $161,592 in monthly child support payments. The amount was changed from the $175,000 she had requested and was handed to the court on Thursday morning. According to documents from a court on Thursday obtained by TMZ, Costner alleges that Christine stole $100,000 from him in order to pay her lawyers. He also reiterates his accusation that she inflated her child support payments to pay for plastic surgery, personal trainers, and other unallocated credit card expenses on her behalf. He alleges that she spends $188,500 a year on plastic surgery. Christine, according to Kastner, actually requires over $63,000 in child support each month. Kostner asserts that Christine has launched baseless character attacks on him, although she could find employment since she has no plans to seek employment or engage in any income-generating activity. Instead, she is requesting enough child support to avoid having to work, according to Kostner. On Friday, the hearing will come to an end, and the court will determine how much child support Kostner will pay. The bitterly divorcing couple had been married for 19 years until his gorgeous wife filed for divorce in May, citing his demanding job. Kostner was supposedly blindsided by the decision. Since then, the couple has been exchanging blows on issues such as who will live where, whether or not their prenuptial agreement is still legitimate, and how much money Baumgartner wants for child support.